Hi, I'm going to talk about um, hypermagnesemia. Now, hypermagnesemia is low magnesium in the blood, which is more than 2.5 MEQ per liters. Uh, hypermagnesemia is not very common, but it usually happens because of renal failure. Also, it can happen because untreated diabetic ketoacidosis. Now, what is that? Well, people who are diabetic, if they don't get treated, um, they can't break down glucose because they don't have enough insulin. So they start breaking down the fat. And the fat byproduct is uh, kidney stones. And these guys don't like that because that's, that can cause renal failure. Now, um, also if you use a lot of laxatives, that can cause hypermagnesemia. How do we remember the clinical manifestations of hypermagnesemia? Well, we just have to look at this guy. So, let's just think renal. R stands for reflexes that are decreased. So this guy has muscle weakness and can also have paralysis. So he's not feeling very well. Also, E. E is for ECG changes. This is the heart and the rhythm. And this is going to cause um, bradycardia and hypotension. So everything goes down. Also, N for nausea and vomiting. A for appearance, flushed, as we can see. And L for lethargy, drowsiness, and coma. See, this is, he's tired and he can cause coma. Now, uh, well, what do we want to do as nurses? We want to monitor their vital signs and their level of consciousness. And we want to tell the uh, PCP if their patellar reflexes are gone. That's very important. And also, you want to tell the patient to uh, inform the PCP before taking over-the-counter drugs such as laxatives because they can cause a lot of problems. So that's it for today. I'm Belen Baigorria from RCC, student nurse.